Good morning, January 18th. Heart and Hands. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. The phrase, working in concert, is illustrated most beautifully by a concert orchestra itself. What a cacophony would be created if a hundred musicians playing several dozen kinds of instruments were all playing separate pieces, but by working in concert, playing the same score, they produce a work of beauty. In the Christian life, heart and hands must work in concert to produce a life of peace. Our desires, the heart, and our actions, the hands, must be working toward the same goal or tension and disharmony will cause peace to vanish. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6-9, through 9, Paul talks about living a prayerful life, free from anxiety, verses 6 and 7, and gives us themes on which the heart can settle in peace, true, noble, and virtuous things, verses 8 and 9. It does no good to pray for peace if we are fixing our minds on the conflicts and struggles of this world. If you are seeking peace today, Spend time meditating on Paul's words, fix your heart, and then fold your hands in prayer and receive God's peace. We must never settle for harmony at the expense of holiness, nor for peace at the expense of principle. John Bradford Good evening, Emmanuel. God is with us. I rejoice in your promise like one who finds great spoil. Psalm 119, verse 162. When the outlook is bleak, people become disheartened. The world is beset by major problems that cause people to be scared, anxious, and uncertain. Some people fight the good fight by trying to remove obstacles in their own strength, but to no avail. Others crack under the burden. One of the great joys of the Christian faith is that Jesus promised that he would be with us until the end. He will not forsake us, and he will never fail us. Such a gracious assurance from the Almighty God himself must undoubtedly fill you with new hope. Jesus triumphed over the worst of what man and life could do to him, and now the triumphant Christ gives you his promise that he will be with you in every situation and under all circumstances in life. In order to deal effectively with difficult circumstances, it is crucial that you surrender control of your life to Christ, yield to his sovereignty and faithfully follow his commands, be sensitive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and he will transform your despair into hope, your depression into a celebration.